Kids with autism always behave different from kids that don't have autism. Here are some of the signs you should watch out for to know whether your kid is an autistic kid or not. But you can still consult the doctor because it's only from the doctor that you will get the right diagnosis concerning your kids health and all that they are the best to like tell you what is wrong with your kids it might be that the kid has autism it might be that the kids have Down syndrome it might be that the kids have some other disorder but here are some of the early signs or here are the signs that most kids with autism have Hello everyone, y'all are welcome to Nessa Good and More. I'm Nessa. If this is your first time here, please, after watching this video, click on the red subscription button. Subscribe, feel free to like this video. Other than that, let's get right into the video. A big thank you to all my returning subscribers. I see you all and I say thank you. The first sign you should watch out in a kid that have autism is their eye contact. Most kids that have autism, they find it so difficult, like looking at you in the eyes, like eyeballs to eyeballs. For example, you'll be talking to a child and you want the child to like look into your eyes, like look at me. They don't. Most of the time when you're talking to them, it's either they put their head down or they are playing with their hands or they are doing something. That eye contact is not there. And you can discover this in your kid as early as maybe a child of one year. Yes, from one year or let me say one year and five months. You will notice as a mother, normally if you are breastfeeding your child, the child is in your arm like this. You're supposed to be like looking to the child's eyes and the child also be looking at you. Maybe you'll be singing some songs or some nursery rhymes to the child. But most kids with autism even at that early stage one and a one year eight months or let me say two years they don't look into their mother's eyes or they don't even look into anybody's eyes you may feel like oh i'm talking to this child he doesn't want to listen to me he's just like watching cartoon or he focus his eyes on wherever he's looking at and you just walk away no normally when you call a child's name or when you like walk into a room a child is supposed to like turn look at you before they will go back but kids with autism hardly will they even like want to even like look at you or maybe they'll just do it just one second and then they are back to what they are doing so the first sign you will notice in kids with autism is they find it so difficult looking at someone when the person is talking to them that eye contact connection is not there the second thing you will see in most kids with autism is they find it so difficult sitting in one place still for let me say 30 minutes let's not even give them one hour 30 minutes they find it so difficult like sitting in one position that long they are always like moving or even though if you force them and they are like sitting down they don't stand up it's either maybe they are playing with their hands they are moving forward yeah kids used to like shake their body and all that but kids with autism they find it difficult like just being at peace with themselves like sitting down sitting calm maybe listening to you or maybe you're in the bank and you want them to just sit down and wait for you other kids will sit down gently and wait for you but kids with autism most of the times like they find it so difficult like sitting it's either they are playing with their hands or they are playing with their shoes or they are moving around you see them they are like looking everywhere like immediately they step into a room or an office or a classroom the first thing is that they want to like read everything that is there look at everything that is there their brain like their brain function like so fast and they are so most of them are like super active so you cannot just walk into a room with them and want them to be calm gently walking with you mm -mm. they've already like gone around and like read everything that is on the wall and before you feel like okay sit down and read this book or something they've already finished like reading that book by just looking at it and they want to like move to the next thing they find it so difficult sitting so calm or sitting in a place for like 30 minutes or one hour it's either they are playing with their hand their shoes or they get distracted with something that's the second sign you should watch out in kids with autism the third sign you will see mostly in kids with autism is they develop or they have interest in just one particular thing for a very long time. Let me say they, they like repeating things. Let me put it that way. For example, maybe you walk into a room with them. You give them a book to read. They finish reading that book. If it's a book that they like so much, they don't want to like let go that book and then pick something else. Or most of the times, maybe if they are playing with toys, you will see that when they come to that place, it's still, they will still go. If they have little option 
or maybe the things you are putting in their front they don't really like find interest or they don't really like like it but there's one that they like so much that is just what they will focus all their attention on only if maybe you give them like five things or ten things and everything interests them that's the only way they can move from this one to this one to this one they like sticking to that one thing that they love so much and they don't like letting it go maybe you see that a child that like writing alphabet is always like writing alphabet even when you give them a pencil and you want them to like draw they will still write the alphabet that they want to write they won't draw or maybe a child that like numbers mathematics is always like doing calculation calculation and all that that's why when they get hold of that thing that they love so much and they like concentrate on it fully they excel they become so great and so perfect in life because they keep on doing that thing and that thing has already like sticking to them it has already mastered them the fourth sign you can see in most kids with autism is that they are not good at socializing with people or let me say kids if they are still little kids you will see that most kids with autism even though if they are in school in kindergarten or nursery school or primary school they like going to a place staying on their own doing stuff on their own Hardly will you see them like walking into a group of kids that are together like doing something. Only if an adult go there with them and ask them to like join the kids. But well, most of the time, immediately the adult is going, they move away. They are not really good at socializing, let me just put it that way. They like staying on their own, they like doing stuff on their own, they don't like playing with other kids. They find interest in more of their own things, the things that they discover what they like is what they like but what other people are doing is not like they will find interest in it and they will run and want to come and join you no they are not like that they discover their own things themselves and then they stick to it the fifth sign you will see in most kids with autism is the way they express themselves for example if you take an autism child to a store maybe he sees a candy and he wants you to buy that candy and you are trying to tell her that no we have one at home or no i don't want to buy it the way the child will react alone you will know that there's something wrong with this child unlike other kids that maybe you tell them that put it back we have another one at home they might put it back even though if they are angry they will just like do <clears throat> or hit their legs on the ground or just squeeze their face a kid with autism might start like screaming scattering it and they might not even want to let go of that thing you don't want to get for them at that particular moment their reactions to you telling them no not to do this or you are not ready to buy this for them now and all that it's not always good they don't really like take it as normal kids as just being sad and holding it they don't know how to like hold their anger they express themselves kids with autism always like express what is inside of them they're not just like squeeze their face or just be angry and sad with their head down and walk away no they react to anything that is negative in their life so these are some of the signs that you can see in kids with autism there are so many other things that you can see in kids with autism but i don't want this video to be so long so i'll just end it here thank you so much for watching from the beginning to the end if you have any question leave it down in the comment section or you can reach me out on my instagram the handle is always here and just drop any question you want me to answer i can answer you back as a message or i can answer you making a video other than that like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you in my next video do have a lovely day and remain blessed bye